Inakuwaje watu wangu nguvu mimi naitwa presenter Ali you are entertainment PA huwa nakusogezea story nyingi ambazo zipo kwenye trending na simulizi nyingine pia ambazo nahisi kwamba ni vizuri sana uh, uzifahamu by the way nataka niseme asante sana tumeweza kupita 56000 subscribers na tunazidi kusonga sana team presenter Ali team entertainment PA inazidi kuwa team kubwa zaidi uh, hapa nchini Kenya na nataka nikushukuru wewe kwa hilo na kama ndo mara ya kwanza unanitazama e, bana mimi naitwa presenter Ali you are entertainment PA na na kuomba tu uweze kusubscribe yani kubonyeza e, kitofi chekundu na alama ya kengele na leo niko na mwanadada e, kwa jina la Judy yupo na simulizi moja ambayo alipo ni, alipo reach out nilihisi kwamba ni simulizi nzuri sana uh, iweze kukufikia ili uweze kujifunza mawili ama matatu mambo vipi poa sana wanakuita nani naitwa Judy Access ama Nyakwe Judith. Eh Nyakwe Judith. Yes. Yeah, simulizi yako uh, inahusu wewe na mpenzi wako. Naomba yeah. tupatie simulizi yenyewe. So mimi kwa majina nimesema naitwa Nyakwe Judith ama Judy Access. Mhm. Uh, story yangu ni kuwa kuna mtu nilikuwa nimeolewa naye. Mhm. Akanifanyia mambo ya ajabu sana ambayo mm-hmm. ningependa kushare na watu. Yeah. Watu kuna wale wenye wako na story kama yangu mm-hmm. ndio wasi feel that they are, they are uh, alone yeah. in that mm-hmm. so 2020 was the year that i will never forget in my life mm-hmm. it is the year that i lost my job nilikuwa nakuru mm-hmm. uh, i went to live with my dad yes after that si sasa ukiisha na mzazi unamtegemea and mm-hmm. mimi sipendi kukaa hivi kutegemea mzazi. Mm-hmm. So nilitafuta job. Nikaenda kwa mjengo nikatafuta job. Mm-hmm. Nikapata. Mm-hmm. So kurudi jioni nilikuwa nimeacha phone yangu kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. Kufungua simu, Facebook. So mtu ameni text, nika akani, akaniambia mambo, nikamwambia poa. After that akani ak, of course akanikatia alikuwa ananiambia like zile vitu yenye ukiwa na ukiwa, ukiwa desperate kuna vitu zenye una feel kusikia yani mm. he was telling me what i wanted to hear mm. at that time so he told me he wanted a wife mm-hmm. so i can say that that was the first red flag i ever ignored because mm-hmm. mtu aezi enda facebook aanze kusema anataka bibi Mm. na mtu hawezi announce that anataka bibi lazima uangalie mtu umsome bila yeye kujua mm. ndio uchukue bibi so me i was depressed at that time mm. uh, uh, 2019 i'd lost my baby yeah. yeah so i was so much in depression that sikwa na, najua kama kuna mtu ananielewa so mm. i said why not sai kuna kuna job why not let me go and get married so mm-hmm. this guy tells me Judi unaweza tumia fea yako ukuje kwetu so ni nikasema yani sikufikiria like mara mbili useme why is he tell me to use my fear na yeye anataka kuniona yeah. so remember this guy at jay patana na yeye mm-hmm. mahali yani hata picha yake siko sure kama ni yeye mm. like i was so stupid and i i ignored the the the, the red flag so yeah. mm-hmm. Mm, nikafanya mjengo like one week yeah mm-hmm. so nika nikapanda gari so hiyo pole hiyo one week ulifanya mjengo ukitafuta fare imagine wow. <laughs> you can imagine yeah i can uh-huh. you can imagine i was i was, i don't know what was it but it ni, ni life ni life so mm-hmm. nikapanda gari nikaenda huko so kufika huko kwao hometown yao akatuma mtu akamwambia enda uchukue huo mdemu mlete huko mm. so mtu ananiambia judi kwani amjei onana na huyu jamaa nikamwambia mbona unauliza ati ananiambia nikikupata we ni sura mbaya ni kuache hapa tao nikam yeah, bado so. ijani hit that huu mtu mm-hmm. kuna vile ananichukulia mm. so nikasema okay ni vile aja tujapatana so like ile ubongo inakwambia hizo vitu zote so yeah. mi tukaenda kufika tunampata yuko okay tunampata yuko and then huyu jamaa akaniambia ati ametoka kidogo anakuja tukakaa tukakaa akakuja and then he was telling me that ni wewe are you sure ni wewe 
so I was like sini mimi mm. so aka aka kaingia kwa nyumba akaniambia hii ni nyumba yangu hizi kila kitu ni yake mm-hmm. sasa tukaishi because i was so desperate na nilikuwa i wanted to live a, i wanted to have a family mm-hmm. i wanted someone to hold me yani i i i was so desperate i can say yeah <laughs> so si tukakaa after like two months nikamwambia i'm pregnant this is the time now nilianza kujua huu mtu ni mtu aina gani because mm-hmm. There was a time he told me that mimi nikikupata uko na mimba mimi nakwambia lazima utaitoa mimi siezi si sahi i'm not ready for a child siko mm. ready kabisa nikamwambia kwa nini nikamwambia mbona unasema hivyo akasema a a nilikuwa tu mchezo mimi hata siezi fanya hivyo mhm and sahi ndo na, na, naangalia back na sema hiyo ni sauti ya Mungu ilikuwa inaniambia toka and then me I was too blind to see it so yeah. nikamwambia I'm pregnant all of a sudden go silent on me aniongeleshi anajifanyia vitu zake so nikamwambia mimi kama ni hivyo let me go kwa wazazi wako niwaambie uniongeleshi me I leave mm-hmm. and then it tells me ukijaribu kuenda kuwaambia utajua so the, the, this this night he comes home mm-hmm. tukaenda tuka kulala kwa hiyo nyumba so it tells me You said uko na mimba. Are you sure? Ebu pima sana kapima. And then alikuwa amenunua kisu. Mhm. Iki uh, kisu akaitoa. Aka alikuwa na dawa. Mhm. And then aka akaniambia Judi mistaki mr. ukuje urudi hapa useme ati ni uko na mtoto wangu ama uko na nini. Mimi nataka staki 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 ni ku waste time yako and then he told me utakunywa hii dawa itoe hiyo mimba and then obvious utaanza kusema hiyo kitu hujaifanya utaanza kusema hapana and then unaangalia back unaona ma, nilikuwa kwetu nikizao mtoto wa kwanza si kutoa mimba mm-hmm. i went through a very tough time with the mimba ya kwanza and then right now nimeolewa mtu anasema nitoe mimba it was It was a very dif- difficult time in my life. Mm-hmm. So akale- akaleta kisu akaniambia ukijaribu hata kupiga nduru I will kill you na na kunda kitu itahai happen. So sikuwa na option and then hiyo mimba ikaanza kutoka sasa nikasikia I remember mtu akikuwa na mimba heartbeat yako inakuwa inakuwa juu sana. Mm. So vile hiyo dawa iliingia heartbeat ilianza ku slow down like in, ilianza sasa ile ingine ya huo mtoto mm. like alikufa sasa sasa mm. ikatoka. So this guy in the morning sasa damu inatoka and then I was so scared. I was telling myself will, will I die? Juu damu inatoka tu inatoka tu I don't know what. Yeah. So in the morning nikamwambia mimi naona I'm bleeding so much why don't you go to the hospital kaniambia hospitali ya nani are you the first person to do an abortion nikamwambia mimi naona nakufa na akaniambia by the way nikijua unakufa na kupeleka kwetu ni kuache uko kufia uko mimi sitaki kesi hapa wa so mi nika huko kwao lazima like uende kwa shamba ufanye kazi za shamba ndio wa yani as in waku wakuseme kama wewe mtu mzuri wewe ni mtu mzuri so mm. mama yake asubuhi anakuja kuja tuende kwa shamba you know y- like kutoa mimba ni kama kuzaa because unakuwa anga week you have lost a lot of blood mm. na ukinama sana bleeding inaendelea inakuwa mingi so mama yake akakuja mimi sasa sikuwa na option ya kumwambia zin ni kumgonjwa mm. sijui nini we had to go kurudi sasa i'm bleeding 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 mpaka nikaanza kujiuliza sasa am i dying sasa ilikuwa inatoka yani vitu zilikuwa zinatoka they were so scary mpaka nilikuwa naogopa sasa nika, nikaanza kuumwa na kichwa nikaanza kusikia kizunguzungu kama anaanguka so nikaenda nikamwambia i cannot do this anymore nipeleka tu usi so iko it tells me acha nikuitie boda boda akuje akuchukue usi So nikamwambia si tunaenda na wewe akaniambia I'm not going with you and we end waambie daktari shida yako akupee dawa. So I went na huyo mtu wa boda. Mtu wa boda ananiuliza shida ni wapi ni nini? Namwambia ah 
niko tu na niko na ka issue tu kadogo because singeza ku explain hivyo yote na huo rafiki yake akuja amueleze mm. so nikaenda usi wo daktari akaniuliza i remember the doctor wo daktari akaniuliza and what did you do so siku ana option nikamuelezea juice nilikuwa nataka kusaidia because i was bleeding badly so wo wo daktari akaniuliza we uoni there is something that is going on mm-hmm. mtu amekuoa na ku, anakufosa utoe mimba ina make sense kweli aka i remember him telling me unaona ukipona mungu akikusaidia kimbia utoroke so because you are in love unasema maybe yani unajiambia tu unajiambia tu yani huyu ni kama ako na hasira yani unajicomfort lakini ile kujicomfort ya ujinga mm-hmm. so daktari akanidunga shindano nikarudi home mm. you bleeding ika ika stop kidogo yeah. so because of ya kazi tena ika ikaendelea because unainama unafanya kazi ngumu inarudi ina tena but i can say Mungu alinisaidia ikaacha so mm-hmm. after sasa amejua kabisa sasa hakuna kitu sasa alianza kuniambia you have to go now you owe me nothing enda sasa nikamwambia sasa anaenda wapi na already umenifanya nifanye sim yenyewe hata mimi siezi kaa chini hivi nikajisamea. Mm. Akaniambia wewe si wa kwanza live. So I remember I was begging I was begging so much. I was desperate. Yaani I wanted to I wanted things to work out at that time. Yaani nilikuwa namuona like is is God in, in my eyes. Yaani mm-hmm. nilikuwa naona is everything because nilikuwa attached na mtu mwenye I, I never knew who he was mm-hmm. at that particular time yeye nilikuwa sasa nimempata facebook mm-hmm. remember tulijua tuli na wiki moja and then i, I nikaenda kuolewa na mm. yeah wow na huo huo muda wote wakati ambapo hivyo vitu vyote vinafanyika yeah eh, ukitoka kwa nyumba mm. ama ukitoka kwenu mm. did you did you tell any, say anything to your family no because obvious babangu angeniuliza why get married like vile wazazi wanakuanga mm. and i i don't know mm-hmm. i wanted to i wanted to make my own decision mm-hmm. siku si, hakuna mtu mwenye alikuwa anaelewa chini na feel mm-hmm. yeah so you, you you just decided to leave i just decided and na I, did they ever contact you kukuuliza ulienda wapi i nikamwambia I told him nimeolewa. Uh-huh. Yeah. Akasema aje. Akaniuliza kwa nini nikamwambia hivyo ndio nime decide. Akaniambia you are too young. Mhm. Kuolewa huyo mtu unamjua mimi simjui like vile wazee wanakuanga. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah, na I also want to know eh uh, wakati ambapo hivi vitu vyote vinafanyika mm-hmm. familia yake hujawahi kuambia si kuambia because he was threatening he was threatening, threatening me akananiambia ata ataniua atanifanyia vitu kwa sasa nilikuwa naogopa na wazazi wake they used to believe him so much akiwaambia kitu wanamwamini i remember when he was telling them mumps chana wataende alikuwa amewajaza maneno mpaka sasa walikuwa wameamini pia wakasema kama nivyo let her go okay yeah. na ni sehemu gani hiyo ulikuwa umeenda kuolewa mm. <laughs> na nikisi tu nikisi yeah. yeah wow uh, na experience kama hii unaisi pengine imekufunza nini maisha mm, me if, right now i'm a new person i can mm-hmm. say mm-hmm. na, na ningependa kuambia mtu wako huko nje yeah. don't take marriage as an option mm-hmm. ama kitenye itakusolvia problems zako mm-hmm. marriage is a lifetime decision mm-hmm. that requires commitment and total commitment mm-hmm. so be ready mm-hmm na wanawake work yeah. have your own money yeah hata kama mtu atakuacha leo mm. like uta, utasimama tena mm. usiachwe yani usiende kuolewa like utegemea mtu kwa hii maisha mm-hmm. ukae hivi utegemea mtu atia yeye yeah, ataenda kazi mm-hmm. akulete kwa yeah. wewe ni mtoto wake yeah. wewe si mtoto wake yeah. pia wewe kuna mikono na miguu na akili zako mhm anaenda kazini ufanye kazi really yeah. 
na since that day has have you ever tried to contact him ama has he in any I, way ever tried niliku, ni time ni sasa nilikuja huko kazi mm -hmm. I remember the first one month mm -hmm. ile yani I was in denial alikuwa anasema aki hii easy happen mm -hmm. labda ni asira I used to call him mm -hmm. but nilikuja nikajikalisha chini nikajiambia you know what you did maisha yangu na kama kama kitu kimetokea kina mm -hmm. sababu yeah. na if god wanted me to stay there mm -hmm. I could have stayed there remember I ignored the red flags that red flag red f the red flags ni kama sauti ya Mungu yenye mm. inakuambia don't go there mm -hmm. i still went yeah. but god aliamua tu kunitoa huko mm -hmm. nikuje huku so yeah. why am i following on someone mwenye mm -hmm. amekuwa inhuman mm -hmm. mpaka ameua kiumbe chake ni chenye ni damu ifanya yani amefanya kitu hata iwezi kuongeleleka kwa watu yeah. yeah na when you came back did you talk to your family or did you ever tell anyone the story I believe sikuwa na nimewa sikuwa si, si nawaambia mm -hmm. because nilikuwa na emini ya watu nilelewa na yeah. they used to blame me so much mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and my mother died long time ago so ningeshare mm -hmm. na yeye lakini mm -hmm. she no more okay okay one one of the things ambazo ningependa nikujuze mm -hmm. uh, ni kwamba I'm kwanza I'm really sorry for what happened to you yeah. and it's it's not any it's not something ambayo ningeweza ku, ku wish to happen to anyone and I'm sorry that it happened to you uh, and it's good that you've come out to talk about it and I hope that you you have healed and if not natumai kwamba you will heal yeah. uh, forgive yourself and ask God for forgiveness because human beings tunakosea sana yeah yeah and i wish you all the best in everything that you're doing so umeingia into acting ama you are almost getting <laughs> into it uh, yeah i <laughs> have a youtube channel yeah msiji ni tangazi yeah 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 it's, <laughs> this is your sh is your time yeah. yeah i have a youtube channel it's called modern house help uh -huh. so watu wanaweza endo uko wani support yeah yeah and pia mimi pia mtu ange kama kuna mtu anaweza nisaidia ku act pia yeah Yeah. Mind. Kabisa. Yeah. And of course I'm calling out to every content creator kama unafanya YouTube una, eh, na unafanya skits, acting, akina desagu, watu wangu nguvu. If you know anyone ambaye anafanya hizo vitu, I naomba tu mtaje hapo chini and then I personally nitatia bidii sana kuhakikisha kwamba I reach out so that we can give her a platform ya ku act. You've heard a story, she shared an amazing story. Na naisi kwamba mwisho wa siku the greatest gift ambayo watu wangu nguvu mnaweza mkampatia it's showing her some love showing her some support kwenye link ya youtube yake inaitwa modern house help yeah. ina ina deal na nini yeah i talk i, I talk, I talk <laughs> about um, about house help uh -huh. ju i'm so compassionate ju hiyo ndio kazi mimi ufanya and okay. I'm, no, i'm proud of it yeah ju ni kazi kama kazi zingine Kweli. na unapata wasichana wa kazi wanadharauliwa sana mm -hmm. I talk about it because I'm so pa I'm passionate about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah so it's in it a modern house help naeka link hapo chini eh, kwenye description watu wangu nguvu you know how we do team presenter Ali mnaingia pale chini eh, mnaingia kwenye link mna subscribe alafu mnamwambia eh, kwamba mmetumwa na mtu wenu wa nguvu kwa ajili ya kushow love na kwa ajili ya kushow support let's support her let's show her some love na kama pia unahisi kwamba unaweza kuzungumza naye you know just to wish her the best just to cancel her eh, is it okay nikieka namba yako hapo uh, yeah niteka pia namba yake hapo mtu yote ambaye anahisi kwamba anaweza kumpigia simu akamjuza atuma maneno mawili matatu i think this will be uh, the great uh, time to do that maneno yako ya mwisho ah uh, maneno yangu ya mwisho ningependa kuambia watazamaji wa e channel mm -hmm. especially mimi napenda sana wanawake kuwaongelesha mm -hmm. Eh, wanawake tuna changamoto sana especially yani unajipata umefanya kitu out of ku, uh, yani bila kufikiria before you get married to that man unjue yeah. vizuri uh -huh. before you get married kuwa na pesa yako yeah. before you get married angalia mtu uone huo mtu unaweza jiona huko yeah, eh, yeah. anaweza ako kama wewe kama si kama wewe marriage is not an achievement yeah uh, you can stay alone kweli yeah, yeah nimekuwa naye judy 
eh, na nimepiga na story na tumai kwamba umejifunza maneno au mambo ma, eh, mawili ama machatu. Bana mimi naitwa presenter Ali Your Entertainment PA. Asante sana kwa kutazama, asante zaidi kwa comment yako, like yako na pia kicha muhimu kabisa wana kujiuza kwamba ni kusubscribe. Behind the camera ni mtu wangu nguvu anaitwa Henry Franka and I will see you in the next video.